Okay, so we're going to look at data storage and images in particular. So how computers demonstrate that they can store images in binary. I'm going to pause on this slide so you can spot the 10 differences. So if you pause the video. Okay, so we're going to look at the specification content. So we're going to be looking at how images, as I mentioned, are represented in a series of pixels, and that is stored in a binary uh, values. Metadata and what that is as well as the effects of color depth and resolution on the quality of an image, but also the size of the file. I'll pause on this slide and give you a chance to have a read through this. So if you pause the video. Okay, so looking at what a bitmap is then. So a bitmap without using a poor definition is ultimately the map of bits. And what we mean by that is, is a grid reference system um, that's used to store an image. So on this bottom left, you can see an example here of a black and white image where we've got some pixels that make up um, the black dots and the white dots. So pixels being picture elements uh, are ultimately these tiny little dots that have colors associated with them that make up a larger part of the picture. So if you think of it a bit like a mosaic, um, and in this example on the left, as I say, zeros are whites, ones are blacks. This is a sort of one bit image where we're using one binary number to store a color. On the right, we have different colors introduced. So there'll be more binary data behind each of the pixels. But again, you can see that each of these individual pixels holds a single color, but then when pieced together, makes up part of a larger image. Resolution. This is simply the measurement as to how many pixels that our image will be made up of. So in this example across the bottom, you've got a one by one image spanning all the way across to the right hand side, where we've got 100 by 100. And you can see as the resolution increases, so does the clarity in the picture. Um, and you can start to see that in the higher resolution images, the curves on the letter R start to look like curves rather than blocks as they do on the 20 by 20 image. Now pixels, as I said, needs to have that measurement. It's not just simply a case of saying that we have a megapixel, so 1 million pixels. It is a case of actually giving the height and width of the image is crucial so that the computer knows not to display those 1 million pixels just in a continuous line. So you'll often find that resolution is given in terms of height and width rather than necessarily the total number of pixels. Here's some examples of this. Now, this isn't something you need to know for the exam. This is just so you can have some context with regards to resolutions um, and some examples of where you may have come across it before. So for example, in the purple, we've got full HD. This is where we've got 1920 times 1080. This is uh, a natural reference as to how HD TVs are measured. So this is saying that we have 1,080 lines by 1,920 1 columns, uh, making up the pixels uh, for the Full HD screen. You'll see that 4K is simply just four times that of Full HD quality. So looking at the um, 3840 by 2160, if you were to multiply those and multiply out the Full HD values, you'd get four times the difference. Color depth, color depth is just a reference as to how many bits we actually use per pixel in terms of um, making up the colors. So in the bottom right of this slide, you'll see on this image, on the furthest right hand side, this is simply just white and black pixels uh, making up this image. So you can start to make out what the image is, but there are only two colors being stored. As you increase the number of bits per pixel, you'll see that the range of colors increases and as does the likeness to its true sort of world colors. Obviously with that being said, it also increases the amount of data that needs to store the image. So for example, as you can see, in a one bit file, this would be 42 kilobytes. On the furthest right hand side, if we saw it in a 24 bit, so 24 bits per pixel, it gives us 16 million colors, but it does increase the file size up to 1.2 megabytes. So the file size increases significantly. In terms of calculating file sizes, the simple math behind it is that it's the color depth multiplied by the resolution. So the resolution being the height and width. So you might, for example, have 100 pixels by 100 pixels being 1000 pixels in total, multiplied by the number of bits that we're using per pixel. So in that example I gave previously, if it was uh, one bit, then obviously it would be one times 1000. If it was 24 bit, 24 times 1000. Just remember that gives you it in bits, divide that by eight to give you it in bytes, and if appropriate, divide it by 1000 or 1024 to get kilobytes. So again, thinking back to our previous lessons. Metadata is the final bit. So metadata is where we're talking about, weirdly to say it, data about data. And that's how an exam question in the past has uh, accepted an answer. It's ultimately all of the information about the file uh, so that the computer needs to make sure that it's handling that binary data appropriately. So things like the file name, when it was mod last modified, when it was created, location of capture, also for in reference to images, the height and width of the image. Uh, you might contain things like what camera it was taken on. 
there's lots and lots of things that you'll find within metadata. It's not just simply a case of um, some basic information.